Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Redis tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we will learn how we can use sorted sets in Redis. So first of all, what are sorted sets? So Redis sorted sets are similar to the Redis sets with a unique feature that their members can be sorted. Now, every member of a sorted set is associated with a score. And based on the score, their members can be sorted, right? So you can see in this diagram, uh, the Redis key will remain the same as other uh, patterns. But here you can see uh, a score here. So you can define a score. For example, uh, I will define a score 100 and then the value associated with the score. So the value associated with the score is value two. And this is our member of a set. And there is a new feature in the sorted set, which is this score, right? So you can define a score and with this score, you can define a member or a value associated with it. And then on the basis of that, we can sort the members of our set, right? So let's see in the practical how it works. So I'm going to open my Redis CLI. So the first command we are going to learn here is Z add. And the Z add is used to create a set if it doesn't exist or add a member to this uh, set if it already exists, right? So every command in sorted set will start with this character Z and then whatever its function is the function name for example right so z add and then the key name for example my set one and the score so score is one and the value associated with it so value for example you want to associate it with the score one is a right in a similar way we can uh, define multiple score members here so score and the value associated with it two and b for example three is the third score and the value we want to associate with it is C and then they need not be in order. So score can be five now and the value can be D here, right? Or any other value, right? And then press enter and you can see four members are inserted in the sorted set. Now to get the members of a sorted set, you use Z and then range command okay as we have seen in the sets also and then what is your key name for example my set one and then starting value and the end value as we have seen in the case of sets also so in the case of sets we have seen that zero and minus one are going to give all the values in the set right so press enter and you can see here uh, all the values are printed here. Now you can see here the values are printed, not the you know scores associated with them, right? So for example, I once again write Z add and then uh, set one, my set one. And then for example, I can just give score 100 here and then the value is E here, right? And then press enter. And once again, I will just give Z range my set one. And then you can see all the values here or all the members here, but these are not the scores. These are just uh, uh, order ordered number. Now, if you want to know how many number of uh, members are there in our set, we can use Z card here. Okay. And the key name, for example, my set one, and then press enter and I can see that there are five members in my sorted set, right? Now in order to get the count of members in the sorted set with the scores within the given range, we use Z count, okay? And then uh, the key name, so my set one and the minimum and the maximum uh, score value here. So for example, I want to get uh, one, two, three here okay and then press enter and then it's going to count the number of values between this range right so for example i will just write one two five here 
and values are 4 because in between score 1 and score 5 there are 4 values including those scores. Now I can just write uh, 1 to 50 here or 55 and still it's going to give us 4 values number of values because the last score we have associated here is 100. So when we write here 101 here and then press enter then only it's going to give us uh, five values and let's say we can give 99 here still it gives the four values so the z count is going to take the score values and then depending upon the score values it's going to give you the number of values uh, in between these scores now let me clear the terminal and uh, to remove any member from a set you use z r e m and then the key name my set and the member so the member here will be the member value so not the score but the member so for example i want to remove the member b so i can just give the value of uh, member uh, b and then press enter and once again i will just give this uh, z range command and now it's giving the same answer because i haven't given the right key name so i must give uh, uh, zm my set one here right and then it gives integer one that means the command is successful and once again the range and now you can see the value is removed from here now if you want to determine the index of a member in a sorted set you use z rank here so just give z rank command and then my set one and the member name so for example d here and then press enter and it's going to give you the index of uh, this d right so the index starts from zero so zero one two right for example i want to see the index of uh, e here and it's going to give me the th index three and for example for member a the index is zero now there is a z rev rank command also so you can just write z rev rank here and this is the reverse rank right so uh, the rank will be sorted according to the score so highest score is the zeroth index right and then uh, the lowest score is the maximum index okay so for example my set one and then the member name for example e is the rank zero here right because index of e is uh, the highest rank rank is uh, 100 for e right and it's the biggest rank that means the index for it will be zero because we are uh, printing the reverse rank here okay for example you want to see the index of a it will be three because it's in reverse order now the last command i'm going to show you here is z score command okay and then i can give the key name and the member name so for example i will give the member a and then press enter it's going to give me the score value of uh, this member right so for example i want to see the score of uh, member e and press enter it's going to give me 100 because score associated with e was 100 right and for example this uh, value doesn't exist in our uh, sorted set for example i just added or given the random value here and then press enter it's going to return the nil value which doesn't exist okay now let me clear the terminal let me show one more command to you so for example i just want to print the range of my set one zero to minus one and this is a c d e and i want to add one more value here so i will just add uh, z add and i want to add this value to my set one and add the score one and i want to add for example a a a a five times and then press enter and it, and it returns me one that means the value for this score is now set to a a a a instead of a for example right so let me do 
z range once again and you can see here the new uh, value is added here which is a a a a right and if you remember the score of a was also one right so let me give the same command now which is z score and this time i want to just see the score of uh, a which is one and then i want to see the score of a a a a which is also one so it's totally fine if you give same score to multiple values right so for example i want to give one more value to the score for example b b b b and then press enter and once again the range i want to see this value is added and then i want to see see the score of uh, b b b b so b b b b and you can see the score is still 1 okay so it's totally fine to have uh one score for multiple values now what happens to the rank here so for example z rank for my set uh one so my set one and then b b b b and the index here is two so this is how a uh, sorted set works now there is one more command which is z range by score and then you can give the key name and then the score value minimum score for example one and then the maximum score for example i am going to give here two right and then press enter and i get here three values because uh, there are uh, three values associated with the score one and i think there was no score for two right so no value was associated with two so let's see one two four for example and now i can see these values and c also so if you want to get values by uh, the range of scores then you can use z range by score okay so this is how you can use uh, sorted sets in redis there are some more commands which are associated with sorted set you can just uh, search for them and then practice them but these are some of the most frequently used command with the sorted set so i hope you have enjoyed this video Please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now